This is it, everybody. The final mission of Doom 1. Episode 5, Mission 8, Halls of Perdition. Shoot the sigil and let's go to town. And let's get to work. I was gonna say go to town, but kind of not at that point yet. Anyway, this level is actually very linear and straightforward, so there's no kind of complex shenanigans that we have to deal with. First order of business, though, is that we need to kill as many of these lost souls as we can. I mean, if they're gonna fight each other, so be it. Basically, they'll be teleporting in at random. Oh yeah, and y'all heard that loud screech earlier. The Lost Souls had been teleporting in right there. Box of shells for us. There's also a specter right there we were shooting at. Yeah, this is a lot of Lost Souls. Alright. So we come over here and grab this chain gun. A sigil opens up right here. We're gonna shoot it. And there's a specter that comes out of this room. Box of bullets, medikit, we need that. Energy cell pack, and then the red key. Oh. Looks like we got a cackle right here. Let's go ahead and take him out. There we go. And now let's go all the way back here so we can hit this red uh, this red key switch. Now, oh, this is Spectre. How many of you bastards are there? Okay, um... Alright, next order of business. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. Alright, yeah. Basically, what we want to do is we want to run around the edge of this circle, pick up the energy ammo. We got to be quick because we are spawning a bunch of shit right there. Okay, that was my last rocket. No big deal. Basically, this basically this teleporter will teleport in three barons. Yep, there they are. And there's a specter right there I shot as well. I didn't even see it. Basically, we're just gonna slowly back up in this hallway as we shotgun these barons down. Okay, starting to get low on shotgun ammo, so I'm going to swap to my minigun. go all right then it's also a backpack right here let's pick that up once we've killed all of these guys if we go back over this way a door opens up and there's a plasma gun and a teleporter we're gonna go ahead and use our plasma gun for the meantime it teleports us down here we're gonna kill that I'm gonna kill that shotgunner up there and there's a bunch of lost souls. We do want to go into this building right here, but let's kill everything down here first. Okay, there are two barons right there. We'll let them get out of that confined space because it's, it's being overlooked by a bunch of amps and I don't want to deal with any unnecessary, unnecessary bull crap. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my BFG. Feel like that's more ammo conservative. Way more, way more ammo conservative. Two rockets, another lost soul. This armor gonna grab. Yeah, there are those imps up there. I don't see anybody else, so I think we're good to go up the stairs now. Let's do that. We're about to get a health refill, so just try to tough it out as best you can. There we go. Whew, that was close. 
There's a Berserk right there for us to grab, which puts us back at 100. Alright. Now, make sure you kill that Spectre before we jump over here. And now we want to jump over here. kill those imps from right here and there we have another baron that we got to deal with I'm gonna use my rockets there and then let's shotgun them there are specters in there as well try not to step all the way to the back right here up on this last step let's just try and take out the baron from right here there we go now go ahead and swap to your BFG, and just as you pick up this stem pack fire, that way we can take out those two cacos with one shot. Okay, someone else is trying to, oh God, where'd this caco come from? This caco just came out of nowhere, Jesus. All right. All right, let's go ahead and kill this Baron. Assuming he doesn't kill me. There we go. All right. Now we're over here. We can come over here, grab this, grab this rocket launcher and this stuff, but we're not gonna do anything yet. Let's drop back down and we're gonna do the climb again. Who the fuck was that? Oh, I see him. Okay. Now we're gonna run across here. There's a medikit. And this is our first secret, but it also leads to the second secret, which has BFG. Now we want to go over this way. Jump across here. This wall is green. If we interact with it, we get another medikit, a cell pack. And that is our third out of four secrets. The four secrets actually towards the towards the end, actually. And when we take this teleporter, we will get ourselves a soul sphere, and then we're gonna start being lowered down an elevator. Now go ahead and drop down. You hear that? Yep, there's a spider mastermind just right there. All right. Took him out, no problem. But at the end of this turn here, we got a cyber demon. So just strafe the rockets and just keep firing BFG shots. This distance is perfectly fine. There we go. And then when we make the turn here, there is a shit ton of enemies, so just let loose. Almost good. We should have one enemy left. Yep, we have one enemy left. Now, if you come over to this grate, you'll see that the bar that one of the bars is missing right here, so we can walk through. There's an energy cell here. If we walk all the way to the end, this is the final enemy. All secrets, all kills. And here is our exit. Baphomet was only doing Satan's bidding by bringing you back to hell. Somehow, they didn't understand that you're the reason they failed in the first place. After mopping up the place with your arsenal, you're ready to face the more advanced demons that were sent to Earth. Lock and load, rip and tear. And that is it. We have officially completed Doom 1. We're done with Doom, and we finally get to move on to the sequel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you, all right, my thoughts on Sigil. It's pretty solid for what it is. 
granted, I know that, like, I don't know how often Romero makes maps, so it, I don't know if, like, maybe some people would say he's out of touch, like, maybe, like, maybe he might have lost his touch, but no, I felt like the maps were very well designed, they looked gorgeous. I will say, though, that the difficulty might be a little bit too spicy for my liking, but granted, I'm someone who still hasn't even played Plutonia yet. God forbid. But anywho, overall, I thought it was pretty solid. I mean, I, I played through it. I got enjoyment out of it. So I guess at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. But yeah, that's going to be it for Doom 1. This was, a long, this was a long series in the making, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We still have more of the Doom story to do, so I hope you look forward to that. If you enjoyed this playthrough of Doom 1, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you're new and you want to keep up with this Doom adventure, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload, join the Fox Army, and I will see you guys on Earth. Till then, see you then.